welcome to Season 3 of Poetry for Peace, a podcast that finds the light in verses. Season 3 is a journey to a cure. I'm Stacy Eyrick, a poet, mother, and singer. And all the episodes in Season 3 were written during my child's cancer treatments and Journey to a Cure at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital from December 2022 through September 2023. Thank you for listening. Diamonds A new dawn brings brighter gray, a deeper chill, and thickening quiet. I untwist myself from blankets and cross the cold room, step into the warmth of the shower, breathe in, breathe out. When I emerge, the bed has been made, and the yellow light of a lamp glows, illuminating my child. They stand and speak softly dressed in the soft gray wings of a poncho, blue knitted booties on their feet. I open each small canister on the countertop carefully, measuring out pills and handing them to them in a small, clear cup. They treasure tiny things as one would hold diamonds, marveling at their preciousness, asking questions about how things are made how things feel, how things are or should be, recalling memories from months ago, people or songs or moments, how everything and everyone seems new, even when they know they are not. I gaze in their dark eyes, watch tears fall from green-blue gold, their eyelashes still long and dark, the envy of many nurses. They swallow each pill with slow, practice precision, turning to give me the thumbs-up sign. I look at the tiny hairbrush in the drawer, but don't pick it up. I want to let the tendrils stay a while longer. They seem unbothered by it, today choosing to go without a colorful scarf. But the light has dimmed a bit from their eyes, the gray of winter weather seeping into both of us like the heaviness of rain into earth. After breakfast, we gather canvas and paints, letting the brushes bring color into our day, into these steadfast hours of waiting through the pain. A calm fills the space where fear sits close behind, a silent, shadowed thing that threatens to take the time we have together and press it into sorrow. I pull open the shades in our small room, grateful for this space we've been given to be in together, mindful of the fear that follows us. Willing my child's courageous heart an incredible mind to banish it, allowing hope in its place. Outside, the snow blankets the rooftops, the city hushed. We sit for a while, motionless and watchful, our tears falling noiselessly as the tree branches glisten, a season of sadness, stretching to meet the sun at its end. To make a charitable donation to help fund research for pediatric cancer and to help support families who are suffering through a pediatric cancer diagnosis, go to stjude.org slash donate. You can also make a donation to Ronald McDonald House at rmhc.org slash donate. 
In addition, I want to highlight these two foundations. The first, the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation at curethekids.org and also the Cure Starts Now, which helps fund pediatric brain cancer research. Go to thecurestartsnow.org.